Hej hej, välkommen tillbaka. Idag kommer jag att göra smörgåstorta, which is a Swedish sandwich cake. Now, this can be made with anything from shrimp to ham to egg and cheese. So today I'm going to make a simple egg and cheese smörgåstorta. I'll have the full recipe in the description section below the video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first ingredient is mayonnaise and I'm going to add some sour cream. And then I'm going to add some seasonings. I have some parsley flakes, some dry dill, some paprika, black pepper, and some salt. And I'm going to give that a mix. Okay guys, I divided this mix into half because I'm going to be using half of it with egg and half of it with cheese for the filling. So here I'm going to add the egg. This is finely chopped boiled egg. to fold that in. Okay. I'm going to add some cheese to the second half of the mix. I'm using grated Gouda cheese here. And then to this, I'm going to add some finely chopped pickles. Okay. So now our filling is complete. So now I'm going to make the cream part of the topping. I have some mayonnaise and some whipped cream and I'm going to just fold that in together. So next I'm going to form the base and the layers of the cake. I purchased some sandwich bread with the edges already trimmed, but you could use any sandwich bread. I'm going to put these closer together here. So that is one layer. So all we're going to do is start layering the cake, one layer of egg and one layer of cheese. And we're going to leave it just slightly away from the edge because when you create the layers and it gets heavier, it will spread out to the edges. We're going to put the next layer on top, press it a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to layer it with cheese and same here we're not going to have it go all the way to the edges because when we put the next layers on it's going to get a little heavy and then push it out so we're going to put in the next layer Now we're going to press down firmly so that all the layers 
stick nicely together. So next I'm going to start by covering the edges with the cream topping. Just like icing a cake guys, only this is a savory cake. So the next thing we're going to do is garnish the edges of the cake with some finely grated carrots. So you're going to stick it on there, just a thin layer guys. Press it in firmly and the cream will help it to stick. And I'm going to just go around again and just pat it in firmly so it sticks. Okay, so now we're going to concentrate on the top. So I'm going to put a thin layer of cream all along the top. fill in any spots that might be missing. So I've framed it about an inch and a half from the top edge. So I'm going to just clean the edges a little bit here before I continue. Okay guys, so I have a whole tomato and I'm going to use my peeler to peel the skin of the tomato off. Let's see if that works because I'm going to use this as a garnish. Hope you can see that. I got one small piece off already. Let's see if I can get some more. The firmer tomato, the better this works. I got another piece here. And I'll just get a few more pieces. Got a nice long one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Take that and roll it on my finger here. I'm going to create what looks like a little rosette. And I'm going to place that here in the center. And I'm going to just add the other pieces around it. Okay, next I have some slices of cucumber. I sliced it lengthwise with the thinnest slicer I had. And then I'll just take my finger, wrap it around like this. To create some cucumber rosettes. Then I cut them in half to form two little rosettes. And those are placed here. And I went ahead and made some others, so I'll place them in a cluster here.
You could also cut the cucumbers in half first and then roll them and press it in firmly. And if you find the edges are coming apart, just place the edges inward. So next I have a bowl of seedless grapes, red and green ones, and I'm going to cut them in half lengthwise. And just skip one spot because I'm going to alternate them. Just for decoration and color guys, and these are just really delicious fresh. So I'm going to use a second color, cut that in half lengthwise also, and then just place those here in between. You can be as creative as you'd like guys. This is your canvas to work with. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I've never made this design before, but I'm just going with what comes to me. And we just have one more side to finish. And as you cut it guys, press it in firmly so that it sticks to the cake and things don't start falling off. And these grapes are super crunchy, so it adds a nice texture to the cake. So next I'm going to sprinkle a little more cheese in this area here. And I think I will add a few more of the cucumber rosettes, just to fill in the area. I have extra anyway. And then I'm going to sprinkle some dill on the cheese. Look at that guys. Okay guys, time to taste the cake. Mmm, wow. Really good guys. I get the crunch of the pickles. I taste the seasonings. The bread is not mushy at all. I taste the egg, the cheese, and the shredded carrot gives it such a nice flavor and texture as well. Very, very good. You guys should make this and let me know how it turns out. Smorgasbord is a really good dish for parties and other events. Store any leftovers covered in the refrigerator for a day or two. Thanks for watching!